Morning 47. Your target is Ajit A.J. Krish. He's the current head of Atlantide, a company producing demineralized salt water that promises a suspiciously long list of medical benefits. If the brand doesn't ring any bells, it's because Atlantide is only sold out of the homes of independent distributors. They pay Krish an initial signing fee, and in return are able to purchase Atlantide for a lower price, which they can then turn around and sell at a profit. That is, if they can sell it. But bottled water is not Krish's most profitable product. He is far more interested in getting people to buy into his turnkey business opportunity, and better still, convince their friends to do the same. He preys on the desperate. Whether they can afford it or not, Krish will tell them that future fortune is worth even the most painful investments. The target is currently in Miami, in the hopes of recruiting a celebrity driver to be the new face of Atlantide. Our clients would prefer he never recruit anyone again. Best of luck. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman 2 and the Silver Tongue special assignment set in Miami. And today we will be taking care of the Crushed Dreams Challenge which entails dropping a car on AJ. Um, for this one, we don't really need to bring anything with us. I am going to bring with me a fish as a melee weapon, just so that I can get rid of AJ's bodyguard. But you can do this without having to remove the bodyguard. You can strangle him once we enter the pits. For this challenge we will also get the driving business discovery or feat for disguis uh, disguising ourselves as the FWAC driver and we will also get the aggressive advertising discovery or feat for going to the meeting as the FWAC driver with AJ. So right from the start off the bat what we're going to do is make our way around like we do the side of the security office duck past the guards except this time we are going to head into the vip area so we're going to make our way around the back of the security office and over the wall and from here we're going to enter into the FWAC motorhome so there's no enforcers we don't have to worry about anyone and then straight through the motorhome through the door at the back of the room we're going to turn on the hoover here we're going to grab the Igmatic Poison or Rat Poison from the shelf and we are going to await the arrival of the waiter who's being distracted by the hoover and when he comes in we're just going to wait for him to turn the hoover off before we advance and knock him out so that we've got time for the door to close as well. So once the hoover's off we knock him out, we're going to hide his body as best we can just around these cages here and we're going to take his outfit now with that acquired we're going to make our way out the rear of the FWAC motorhome and up the stairs and into the lounge area upstairs there is an enforcer up here so we're just going to duck run past the uh, bar area and out onto the balcony where we find the FWAC driver and a glass of wine so we're going to use our rat poison to poison the glass of wine. Eventually the driver will go and drink from that and begin, uh, make himself sick. And he will make his way down this same route we are taking here. And down into the lower lounge. And he will make his way into the bathroom behind us. So he's just having a, a little chat with his girlfriend. He's a bit concerned about this deal that he's going to be striking up with AJ so he's going to have a drink to calm his nerves any time now there he goes and once he's had his drink he will then fall very very ill and he will make his way down here towards us and into the bathroom which door you can see right behind us here So once he goes into the bathroom, we can just follow him in and close the door. Just like that. 
And we're going to knock him out. He seems to want to throw up in the bin when there's a perfectly good toilet right there. But once he's unconscious, we're going to grab the card he drops. That's very important. And take his outfit. And with that, we will get the driving business discovery or feat for putting on the flat driver's outfit. So now we're going to move on and we're going to take out AJ's personal bodyguard or security guard as he is here. But AJ is currently in our way. I don't want to bump into him just yet and trigger a conversation. So we're just going to wait for him to turn around and try and shut up the brunette in the green top behind him. So once he turns around, we can just make our way into this restricted area here and we're going to make our way around to the back of the area where the two large trucks are. And around the back here, we will find a security guard over by the forklift. So we're going to take out our fish, distract the security guard with the fish by throwing it against the pallets of water and when he comes over to investigate we'll knock him out and hide him in the crate we are currently next to so with him unconscious we're just gonna quickly get him out of eyesight of anyone don't forget to retrieve his gun as well just in case and what we're gonna do now is rinse and repeat because AJ has just arrived with his bodyguard so if we do the same thing again with our fish that will attract AJ's attention and he will send his bodyguard in to investigate and all we've got to do is once again silently knock him out and hide him in the crate next to us so with him now out of the way we just get his body hidden away nicely all we have to do now is approach AJ and trigger a conversation which will lead us to the FWAC garage the pit garage ah, Mr. Schmitz, I'm Ajit Krish, head of Atlantide so good to meet you should we go somewhere more private to talk? I've always wanted to see a real racetrack we can talk well, let's go Team Thwack Garage, here we come. So we're just going to now lead him to the Thwack Pit Garage. Uh, he walks very slowly, but I am able to walk almost as slow as him. So we don't leave him behind like we normally do with people, even when we walk at half speed. So we're just going to make our way straight down to the Thwack Garage, which you can easily identify because there is one enforcer here. We're going to use the key card we picked up earlier and unlock the door, make our way inside and we are going to stand here by this ramp or lift. And it's this point I make a very very silly mistake. Don't push the button. So at this point I jump the gun and I push the button a little bit too soon. And we get the Crush Streams challenge, but not the aggressive advertising. What we need to do is wait for him to turn to us and talk business. So now we can push the button. So I jump the gun a little bit for the first time I can really run through and do it again. Though our client will never get their money back, you have given them peace of mind. Well done. So with that taken care of, that will get you the Crushed Dreams Challenge and the Aggressive Advertising Challenge if you don't push the button way too quickly. You need to wait for his, uh, AJ to start talking shop before you hit the button. So with that all taken care of, I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.